What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Eric Glam. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I'm so excited to film this video guys because we're going to be doing a full face using all brand new products that I received from all of my favorite brands. I know this year has been incredibly hectic and these brands have been incredibly on a roll for releasing so many launches back to back and all of these brands coming out with such amazing products and so many features, so many collections, so many collaborations. And honestly, as an influencer, it was a bit overwhelming to get so many packages uh, in a good way, of course. It's a great problem to have because the ideas are flooding and so many things to do and quite frankly, not enough time. So I decided to do a full holiday glam using only brand new products that I received in the mail within the last month or so. So if you guys are ready to see a full on transformation, then you guys are in the right video. Keep on watching. If you guys do like this video and if you like me, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Any questions, comments, compliments, or even concerns, sound off in the comment section down below. And if you guys like all my videos, make sure you guys also turn your post notifications on so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And of course, subscribe. All right, you guys, welcome back. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, I would like to Take a second to congratulate every single one of you because if you've made it this far, I know you guys love me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you guys. I would definitely like to take a second to thank all of these brands who have been so gracious and so supportive and so nice to support me on my journey and support all of us micro influencers. As an influencer, it is super, super important to have access to all the new launches, to all the new products that come out in the industry to keep our content fresh. But not only that, maintain all of you guys, our audience informed of all the products, provide to you guys our unique perspective, our unique review our unique take on all of these products and help you guys as consumers make a better decision what products are better for you, what products will work for you, or simply just to see the products in action to give you some inspiration. So to all these brands, thank you so, so much. Now onto the video, full face using only new products. The first product I'm going to start with is this amazing baby. This is the new a uh, professional member of the family from Benefit Cosmetics, and this is the Professional Hydrate Primer. And if you guys know Benefit Cosmetics, they have the classic uh, professional primer uh, that helps to blur your pores. Then later on, they came out with the pearl version, which is a little bit more luminescent. And now they came out with this one that is definitely for those who have a little bit more dry skin or for those who want to be a little bit more dewy, but also blur those pores away because we don't want them. Pours who, honey? Pours who? <laughs> all right, you guys. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over my face. Now, as any primer, I like to um, put it in the tip of my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it like that. This is as much product you guys need. This should be enough for the whole face. Remember, less is more, especially with primer. We don't want our foundation to be slippery or to blend and I'll just rub it all over the face all right you guys so I already went ahead and primed my eyes off camera because honestly that is boring and you guys don't need to see that you guys already know how to prime your eyes just use your favorite concealer or your favorite eye base but now let's move on to the more fun part of this project or part of this tutorial so um I am a big fan of Milani I have been basically you guys building relationships this entire year and that is one of the things that I'm so so grateful for and one of these brands that I've built an amazing relationship is Milani Cosmetics and they just recently launched this uh, the 24 karat gold collection and I honestly live for this collection you guys know I love gold so I love coppers I love browns I love my nude colors so this is definitely perfect for the holidays and quite honestly you guys it is so so affordable so these are all amazing items that you guys can buy um like this brush set is incredible and we will be using in today's tutorial uh this palette and of course this little lipstick collection so i will be featuring all the prices and i will be putting them in on the lower part of this video because honestly that is all information you guys can watch as I apply it. So let's go ahead and do a cute little sparkly holiday look.
All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with the Gilded Gold palette, and we're gonna first dip into this color right here, which is called 100P. Uh, it's like a very neutral, topish color, and we're gonna put that all over the crease. Okay, guys, so now that we've finished blending that color, we're gonna start to deepen it a little bit, and we will be adding this color right here called Legacy, which is like a more deeper brown, but it's still in that same undertone. So we're gonna go ahead and put it just on the outer corner of it very carefully because this is a slightly larger blending brush. If you do have a smaller blending brush or like a more detailed uh, crease brush, that will be a better one. But to show you guys that you guys can create a full look using minimal brushes, I will use this same one. All right, so now that we've finished doing that part, I'm gonna grab a little makeup wipe and I'm gonna pull one out. I love these wipes, you guys, because they are very hydrating and they are super affordable. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up. You guys will see how fast this goes. Rather than just being super, super careful, I'd rather just do this because it saves us so much more time. And then you always clean up when you come back. All right, guys, so now we're gonna add a little bit of color and using a shader brush, I'm going to use this color right here called Doro. We're gonna put it on the outer part of the uh, eye and we're gonna start to kind of like build our way in. Okay, now using a smaller detailer brush, we're gonna go ahead and apply Ultra Gilded and we're gonna put it right in the inner part to kind of like blend in with the first one that we put in to give us a little bit more dimension. Okay guys, now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and use this Milani 548 brush and we're gonna go ahead and dip into this beautiful color called Awesome, <laughs> which is like a very reflective, super shimmery gold. Um, but this is a really pretty highlight. So we're gonna put that on the brow bone and then right in the inner corner right here, just to give us that little extra reflection, a little bit more pop to reflect the light. Okay, just watch. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're gonna work on the bottom part of our eyes and we're gonna go ahead and apply this beautiful green color called Eden and I'm gonna be using this Milani 546 brush and we're gonna do it right on the bottom part of our eyes. And to seal the deal, we're gonna go ahead and apply this beautiful dual chromatic color called For the Throne, which kind of like a greenish, brownish, opalescent type of color. So I wanna put it just right here, kind of like in the middle of the eye. I don't know, I feel like it's gonna attract the light really cool. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add this beautiful liquid glitter eyeshadow from elf this is a brand new launch you guys and i am so so excited i've already played a little bit with these in the quality and the texture is amazing low key this has nothing to lose compared to those high-end ones so we're gonna go ahead and apply it right in the middle just to give us a little extra pop of color All right, and for foundation, it's not necessarily a brand, brand new launch. It's a new launch to me, just because I haven't really had a time to film with it. And this is the True Portrait Foundation from Kat Von D. I have heard amazing things from everyone who has tried it, and they were gracious enough to send me three colors. Uh, they sent me 
uh, light 015, medium 030, and light 018. I think light 018 is more on the pinkier side, so I may need that to mix with this one if it turns out to be too golden. Uh, but yeah, I think this is gonna be my perfect match. And let me just say that the packaging and the aesthetic of this foundation is truly beautiful and it's very attractive. So it's a dropper foundation. So I'm very curious. You have to shake it because it does separate. Um, so we're gonna see how that works in terms of coverage. Definitely very liquidy. So we will see how the coverage goes. And I apologize, but I like using my finger <laughs> to put it and then I blend. It feels very weird. I'm gonna be using my Artiste brush. You guys know the Zier has been full of blessings. Got to work with them and I absolutely love their brushes for foundation. So I'm gonna be using my Oval 7 to blend all of this out. I'm really hoping this works, you guys. Oh my God, it feels weird. Oh my God. What is this foundation? Oh my God, it looks like my skin is porcelain. Um, um, I think I lay, I live for it. Oh my God. You can see how easy it was to blend, look. No effort. Look, you guys saw that? Oh my God, you guys. I think I may have found one of my new favorite foundations, but the texture is so weird. I can't, mm -mm, I can't with that. It's like a serum. Okay. <sighs> I don't know what to think. This feels so weird but yet so cool. I think it's a very new concept and a very new thing, but is it just me or it made my face look like super blurred, like no pores, like so smooth, you guys. And like, I can still see my natural glow, which I like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour, you guys. I don't have anything from new launches that is contour related other than like the foundation. So I'm just gonna do my contour like speed up. I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but then I'm gonna come back to do the finishing touches. All right, guys, so this is my face all snatched and all B to the quads. Nothing compared to when we first started. So we're off to a good start, right? Or off to a good finish, maybe. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So now I'm going to use this little set that I received from Jouer Cosmetics. This is part of their um, latest collection. I think this was for their like Black Friday uh, deal. And this is their Molten Glow and Funfetti Lip so I love this highlighter you guys I had one and I actually broke it when I was traveling and now I'm so excited to have received one I actually had an opportunity to meet uh, Christina Zilver the owner and CEO of Jouer Cosmetics this year and um, she's so cool she's such a sweetheart and I'm just so happy to be working with them as well so I love this little set you guys because it comes with a little uh, lip topper it comes with a little brush and then of course the little highlighter so we're gonna go ahead and apply the highlight because you guys know me, I need to be blinding to the quads. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and apply some lip and then we will put some lashes and the look will be finally complete. I know this has been a bit of a longer tutorial, but there is a lot to cover and I showed you pretty much almost every single step. So it's a full and very thorough tutorial. So now we're gonna be using this little kit that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is from their Carly Bible collection and it's also considered part of their holiday launch. I am so grateful also for Anastasia Beverly Hills because they were actually the first major PR list that I made. Uh, this was last year and so grateful to still be on it this year and honestly all their products, they are very consistent and I actually have been feeling more artsy and more creative with a lot of the newer launches. So let's go ahead and use this. I'm going to work with uh, this color right here, you guys. I'm not sure what's the name of it. I think that is on mute, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to pull it out and then we're going to apply it. All right, you guys, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, I had a lot of fun making it, you guys, and honestly, I've been dying to play with all these products. I cannot wait what this next year brings to all of us, and don't worry, you guys, I do have a few more videos planned for the rest of this year, so please stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, this is the final look. I'm very glowy, very dewy, and I am living for these lashes, you guys. By the way, these lashes are from Velour, and you guys can still buy these, actually. This is a set that they launched exclusively for Sephora. This is the Not But Nice, Not But Nice, Naughty But Nice <laughs> little set, and I love that they come in a little travel set. They come with a little glue and also little tweezers so that you guys can apply them. I'm just trying to look for them, but I have such a mess, you guys, that I do not know where they went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, here's a little glue. The tweezers, don't ask me where, but oh, I found them. Super cute, super adorable. Anyway, this is it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked this little holiday glam. And yeah, happy holidays, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Oh, and please don't forget, you guys. If you guys like this video and you like me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn your post notifications. Okay, now I'm really going. Bye.